inventory of our sales is always necessary when we are being judgmental of someone else. Self-justification never provided anything to a crowd. That's just a thought. My name is Richard Bird, alumni of Samaritan Inns. I am a mechanical engineer. I'm also a grandfather today. I'm also a father today. I'm also a writer. You know, I would not never be where I am today if I wasn't arrested. And this is how my process started. When I was growing up, I was a plus plus student. You know, I did everything right. I like to impress my grandmother, which I was really, really close to my grandmother and my mother. One of my daughters passed away, and my grandmother and mother's nurturing got me through it. Now, my grandmother passed away. Two weeks later, my mother passed away. I thought that I had a God, I knew God, but I didn't. You know, because uh, I was mad at him. I was mad at the world that took it out on myself. Next thing I know, I'm doing drugs, not going home. And after a while, I'm doing too much. And I can remember when, uh, you know, I had to go to court. I was looking at five to 30 years. And I asked a lady named Regina, could she go to court with me? And she said, uh, sure, she would. And she said, actually, why didn't I ask my children? And I, what I said to her was that, uh, you know, I, I wasn't coming back. I had wrote a uh, letter about myself from when I was a child until the day I was about to walk into that courtroom. I told Regina, I said, I'm thinking about getting this to the district attorney. And she said, district attorney never been on, uh, on our side, Regina. So I walked up to him, I said, uh, sir, I, I, I had this letter that I wrote. I was wondering if you'd take a look at it. And so he went up in the front of the courtroom, sat down, and started reading it and everything. And the judge actually said, Mr. Bird, are you ready for sentencing? And the district attorney said, uh, excuse me, Your Honor, before we take this any further, I'd like to strike everything that we had planned for Mr. Bird. He said, I need a uh, counselor to approach the bench. You know, it was a you know, noise went around, so he couldn't hear what they were talking about. And then the judge said, Mr. Bird, somebody must be looking out for you in this courtroom today because we're going to strike everything that we had planned for you. Love, comfort, and support will last longer than any materialistic idea. When I first moved in there, it was kind of unusual because I haven't had my own place in years. You know, uh, one time I was a productive uh, citizen, but I really didn't care about people in general. Anytime somebody asked for something, I gave them something, and I looked for something in return. Being in Samaritan Inns, I kind of learned that, you know, you can give without looking for something in return. You know, and anytime I'm asked to do something that's charitable or help somebody else, I do it because somebody did it for me. I really appreciate Samaritan Inns for their patience with me, for the hospitality, and for showing me the right direction to move forward. Somebody asked me once, uh, would I change anything if I could change the things that I've been through? And I told him, no, I wouldn't. You got to go through something to get somewhere. And if I didn't go through the things that I've been through, if God didn't allow me to go through these things, I wouldn't be where I'm at today. You know, I'm able to write a book from those experiences. You know, God gives everything that I have. You know, I believe truly that nothing is mine without his blessings. And thanks for letting me share that.